All right, we're at the range and we've got a box of this MFS 223 55 grain. And we're gonna see how it does out of a couple of different rifles. Got a Remington 700 5R with a one and nine twist barrel. And we've got an AR-15 with a 14 inch one and uh, nine twist barrel as well. We're gonna see how it does out of those. So we'll break our way into these and see how they do. I'm gonna shoot uh, 10 shots out of each of the rifles. And I've got the chronograph set up out front. It's uh, about eight feet in front of the muzzle. And we've got a target set up at 100 yards away. We're gonna see how this groups. So first up will be the uh, Remington. And second up, we'll do the AR-15. Let's have a look at the chronograph data for this MFS 223-55 grain ammo. This is out of the Remington 705R with a 24 inch barrel. 10 shots. Lowest velocity 3063. Highest 3113. For an average of 3093 feet per second. Pretty reasonable extreme spread for 10 shots, about 50 feet a second and a good standard deviation, 14 and a half roughly. And here's our 10 shots. So let's go and have a look at the target. Hit 100 yards with uh, the 55 grain MFS ammo. Not uh, what you call a great performance. We've got 10 shots on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And it's looking like, uh, what's that, about three and three quarters, three and seven eighths perhaps. That way. Yeah, that's probably the biggest spread is is uh, this one here to here. So center to center. If we're generous, we'll call it three and a half inches for uh, extreme spread for the furthest two. I'll probably take this home and uh, measure it up and I can lay it down flat and have a look at it. Uh, by way of comparison, here's a group I fired earlier with uh, Hornady 50 grain VMAX bullets. Now there's uh, four shots in there and one down here that I probably pulled. Here's another group with uh, Hornady VMAX bullets, 50 grainers. There's four shots in that clump and one there. So as you can see the rifle shoots uh, pretty decently but this MFS is uh, pretty marginal for accuracy. Three and a half minutes of angle is not all that good for uh, 223 ammunition. In fact, you would expect to do about the same with uh, bulk 76239 surplus ammo. So, anyway, we'll probably uh, have a go again with the AR 15 and see how it does. So, the next uh, firearm we're going to use is this AR-15 with a 14 and a half inch M4 barrel, uh, one and nine twist, 
and we're going to try 10 shots at 100 yards again. We've got the chronograph set up in front, 8 feet away, and I've got a uh, 3 power scope on this, so we'll see how that does at 100 yards. So let's check out the chronograph data with the AR-15. Keeping in mind this is a 14 and a half inch barrel. Low velocity 2752, high 2844 for an average of 2780. And you can compare that to the velocity out of the Remington with the 24 inch barrel. A bit of a drop, 92 feet per second extreme spread. 31 feet per second standard deviation. You can see these uh, extreme spreads and standard deviation are not as good with the short barrel as they are with the longer barrel. And here's the 10 shots. So overall, just about what you'd expect out of a shorter carbine length barrel. Always a degradation in performance that comes with the shorter rifle barrel, shorter carbine barrel. And that, of course, is to be expected since you don't have as much barrel to burn up the powder. So let's go down now and have a look at the target. So here's our 10 round group at 100 yards with the MFS 55 grain ammo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the extreme spread, the two furthest appear to be this shot here and this one here. And if we put the measuring tape on them, we get three and three quarters of an inch. So only uh, a quarter of an inch bigger than shot with the uh, Remington 700. So for uh, overall impressions, I would say the ammunition is certainly reliable enough and the velocities are about what you would expect. However, the accuracy is rather poor. Uh, three and a half minute, three and three quarter minute of angle is really not acceptable in my books for 5.56 ammunition. It's about on par with what you would get with surplus 76239 ammo. Um, I guess this stuff would be okay for very short range use, for uh, standing practice perhaps, something like that where any degree of precision is really not required. However, for anything with any degree of precision, you would be better suited to buy other ammunition. Certainly this stuff is not accurate. It'll take your AR-15 and make it shoot like a Mini-14. And as far as shooting it out of a bolt action, you're kind of wasting your time and wearing out your barrel. So I would call this a uh, not really a bargain after all, even though the price is good. I would say it's something you could uh, pass on. At least that's my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We will talk to you later.